This is Stephanie here with the Age of Metal, and I'm here right now with Doll Skin. So how are you? We're good. good. How are you? Yeah. Yay. Woo. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> That's how awesome. awesome. And so you are currently on the Generation Doom tour, supporting o uh, OTEP and then a whole bunch of other bands. So how's it going so far? Uh, it's good. It's been good. It's very busy. Mm -hmm. That's good, though. Lots of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a show almost every single day. We have like five days off within like 60 oh days so mm -hmm. it's, it's wild but it's fun yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah we had a random day off like a, a week ago and we were like oh what <laughs> yes yeah. we call it our traveling circus yeah so it feels like hey that is you know i've heard so many different things to describe tour i have not heard traveling circus <laughs> definitely a circus it is a circus <laughs> yeah especially with all these bands like that are involved it's uh it's definitely a traveling circus because we're like really close as like a family okay. but we're also all really crazy so <laughs> hey that's heavy music for you right you can't yeah. be sane and play you know like oh. chugging riffs and yeah. screaming vocals all that yeah absolutely <laughs> true nice well then this is a good way to prepare you all for the future just this is yeah. what you'll expect every single tour right yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. absolutely Nice. So, well, let's just talk about the rest of the year. So, I mean, after you finish this, what do you all have going on for the rest of 2016? After 2016, we, as soon as we get off this tour on the 28th, uh, we go on a tour with Hell Yeah, which is like, we get three days at home and we just go. It's from the first, nice. to, the, yep. from the, first to the fifth and of June. Yeah, then we're back for a week. Um, and then we go back out uh, for another week in the Northwest on oh, our wow. own headlining. Ooh, cool. Then after that, yeah. we are home to get to writing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Is there anything you can tell us about the writing process now? Like, have you started anything? Yes, or? Sure. Yeah, we have a few songs that we play live that aren't recorded yet. Okay. That uh, They're brand new. We haven't recorded them, oh, wow. but we plan to put them on the next album. Mm -hmm. But we definitely have several songs that are kind of in bits and pieces, but they're, they will come together as soon as we get home. <laughs> okay, awesome. So, like, can you tell us for your next album, it will be a full length? Yes, or Oh! This is awesome. Yeah, excited. Well, I'm excited to see it. Or I'm excited to hear it. Yeah. Bleh. That came out wrong. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, obviously you've been playing live now for, you know, a little while. So what is your favorite part about performing? Oh, wow. That is a really good question. Uh, the energy and the feeling of connection with uh, the ladies between me and then the crowd. Because yeah. it's just like, we have this like, uh, we you know, we've played together for a long time. So basically it's been proven that almost scientifically oh, it is. that it's you like can a, connect a through each other really? with your brains it's like yeah it's like more or less like kinetic. musicians can like <laughs> in a way like we read, read each other's, other's minds, minds. Yeah. it's they crazy can, like start like accidentally forget like one part of a song and like we all just like know exactly we don't what even she's... look at each other it's <laughs> yeah, like we entire, all yeah. just like mesh together with like mistakes or like cool parts of like improvisations like we all just mesh together in like the coolest way wow. like sometimes like sydney will forget a verse but then like or like repeat a verse and it, just it happens you works just don't even think about and it, we though. keep like i don't know we all just are very good with like improvising yeah together. fixing mistakes or knowing exactly making where we're going. things yeah it was cool mm -hmm. yeah. so you all are all like dollskin superheroes right <laughs> it is we can totally like read yeah. each other's minds that is so yeah. awesome so then, I mean, I know we mentioned the In Your Face Again LP, but, you know, I mean, obviously you added some new songs to the In Your Face EP. So, I mean, do you feel like for some of the newer songs that you wrote, like, are you going on a different direction? I know you did, like, a few covers and everything also. So, I mean, what do you say about that? Our new song, Furious Fixation, is kind of going in more towards the direction we've always wanted to go or that we're finding that we want to go more towards, mm -hmm. which is really cool. It's a little heavier and everything. Uh, mm -hmm. Our EP was mixed to be a little more radio friendly, a little not as heavy. So we're kind of excited to bring it back to what we kind of originally had in mind. Yeah, we want a little more power behind our sound. Oh, awesome. And we're finding our sound a lot better now that yeah. we've been writing and we've been on the road. Like we're figuring out what works the best for us. Okay. And we're really excited for our new album because it's going to show off that new sound that we've Ooh. kind of figured out. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. So now I have to ask this. Did Dave Ellison have any like influence on the writing since you're heavier? A little on bit. On the bass parts. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would like do stuff and then he'd be like, wait, try this out. And I'd be like, how did you do that? Where did it come from? <laughs> um, he was awesome. He would just like help me with like techniques or just like little things that just make everything better. So it hasn't cool. been so much with like uh, our newer stuff because like we haven't gotten a whole lot of studio time with it or a whole lot of time to work with it. But with our EP, we had the songs pretty much solidified, but he would be like, switch this around or try this weird thing. And you're like, yeah, whatever, that's really strange. You're like, actually, that's a really hundred cool. times better than what yeah. we could have ever thought of. Yeah. I think you guys are ready. Thank you. 
I mean, when I was listening to your music, one thing I love about you guys is how brutally honest your lyrics are. So, <laughs> oh, so you, and, and you're the lyricist? Well, I mean, I know like everybody in the band yeah. writes, the, but you, are you the main lyricist? For, it's, it's, I'm pretty much an 80% and she's more, she'll write two songs that we'll play on the set, so I call it like a 20. But like, <laughs> she'll, she'll write a lot of songs and then I will come back and edit them. Other than that, I write mostly all the songs. <laughs> okay, awesome. Yeah. Like, so far on the road, every like week or so, She's like, Sydney, here's some new lyrics. And she sends me like a whole paragraph. That's and sometimes awesome. it's like every other day. She's like, new lyrics, new lyrics. And I'm like, hey. she's freaking crazy with Great lyrics. Out. One time we were driving to band practice and we were talking about the I-10 killer back in Arizona who was this guy who was like shooting people on the freeway. And we were just like talking about it. Megan like goes quiet for five minutes. And then she's like, hey guys, just wrote a song about it. And <laughs> we actually still play that song today. So it's now that's going to be one of our songs on our full length. Yeah. So. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Giving a lot of new information on the full length, right? Yeah. <laughs> come see us live, and you will get to hear it. Yeah. Ooh. When it comes to when it comes to writing, we all kind of we all have mu like the instrumental thing. We all uh, contribute to that. Uh, but yeah, like Megan said, it's like eighty twenty. Uh, oh, Alex, awesome. actually, you wrote like this paragraph of stuff in detention Alex, like, one a time. Oh, I was in detention and I was mad about something, oh. so I just started. <laughs> they're like, you have to do this, write this essay, and why you're here. I'm like. Like, so song, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank you, school. Yeah, it's just like a bridge or something. But we don't yeah, play the song anymore because we need to rework it. But the lyrics are still like really. Yeah, cool. that's my only lyrical contribution. I'm actually writing rap song also. Uh, <laughs> no, awesome. It'll be like a hidden track. Alex and I rap. What's up? <laughs> it's about bees. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that is so awesome. Well, now that we've had, you know, a collaborative explanation of you know the writing of you know whether it's the composition or the lyrics so how about you you describe like if somebody came up to you and said oh you're in Dolskin I never heard of Dolskin what would you say to them like how would you describe your band to them hard rock with punk and metal influences it's powerful yeah definitely powerful. if you were to describe the genre it'd be hard yeah, uh, yeah. definitely Other heavy words, metal or heavy metal <laughs> Hard rock with punk and metal influences, yeah. but we're a band of best friends, basically. Aww. That's that's us. Oh, that's ah. Okay. <laughs> but it's like that starts. comes out on stage because people, you know, when they refer to us, you know, they're like, "Oh, you guys remind me of the Runaways." Like you interact like them too, and it's like we just interact like friends I've, like, on stage. Sydney on stage before, just like, she's, ah. hit, she's hit me in the head with her. That was an stage. accident. That was I slammed <laughs> her in the head. That was so bad. I felt so bad because I felt like how hard I hit her in the head. Uh -oh. But other than that, <laughs> we have like a very charismatic, powerful like live performance that backs our powerful I like to music. Yell at Alex okay. on stage. Yeah, we kind of like, yell noodles. <laughs> and she's like, "What?" I'm like, "Noodles." <laughs> we yell at each other on stage, but like just weird random stuff. Just words. I slip off my basis. So my basis, just my basis. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> describing us live, it's I mean, oh. just one word that kind of encompasses it all. It's a what show. Are you, what are you doing, Nothing. Nicole? Nothing. <laughs> I would say fun. Just nice. fun. Good time. Too. That's two words. Fun. Um, <laughs> hey, fun as many time. words as you need. Yeah. Hey, very fun time. <laughs> Charismatic and powerful. I don't think it's somebody was like, you have to describe it in two words. Uh. It's like, what do, you, yeah. what do you mean I can give you a paragraph? I like, know, right? <laughs> They're like, I don't have time for a paragraph. <laughs> Most of the time I have to just like blow my nose on stage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, that's how I describe our shows. I always am sniffling. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I can get off stage, I run to the bathroom and I'm like, hmm. And then it's like, <laughs> I wonder why do you get a stuffy nose when you're on stage? I, don't know. <laughs> I just get like a runny nose. Like there's been time one time, oh my god, it was so bad. On our first song, I like took a breath and then all of a sudden just like this snot came out of my nose. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, like I have to play this song. And like it's like I could feel it like dripping. I was that was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I've never talked about that before. It stressed me out so bad. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Ew. <laughs> All right. Well, then, I think one of the most mind-boggling, I guess, um, aspects about your band is, I mean, all of you are so young, you know, you're still in high school age, and well, beyond the fact that it's like, oh, you're young and you play awesome music, but it's like, obviously you have such, like, a matured sound and a matured attitude about, like, being in the industry, playing live, touring, so, I mean, how do you, like, do you feel like that developed before, like, when you were still in school playing, like, jamming with each other, do you think that has, like, kind of developed over time? School of Rock, I think, yeah, honestly. School of Rock. School of Rock, like, there was a bunch of, the teachers were all musicians who'd been in the industry, and they really taught us, like, the business side of it more, and so they helped us with, like, how to be professional, like, with other musicians, like, how to 
work on stage like if something goes wrong you know like they really taught us more of like professionalism about the music industry and how to handle yourself and it's like if you don't take yourself seriously which like we don't but at the same time <laughs> if you don't act professional like no one else will like respect you and stuff so you have to i don't know and like that developed on tour as well it's like yeah. being on tour with like you know older more seasoned musicians like that's taught us you know they've taught us what they know and like oh, we've nice. taken skills from school of rock and like yeah. previous David ventures also. oh yeah our manager absolutely he's like this is do and do not it's like he yeah. He likes yeah, to say he made the mistakes for us. Mm -hmm. It's like he gives us a lot of cool advice. Yeah, he's like, don't do this, do this, da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah. thank you, because My, we would have done that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My mom likes to say I was born 25, because Ew. 75, I would say. 75, I was born an elderly woman. I was about to say with your little walker. <laughs> and then yeah. I was on stage. Sydney actually does use a walker. Um, a fun fact about those kids. Sydney okay, doesn't okay, have no. legs. Um, anyways, Nicole, stop talking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I've definitely matured as a person and musically as we've been on the road and as we've been a band together but you yeah, know I went from listening to One Direction to like Zeppelin and the Stones within like nice. a month oh yeah, yeah this is like turned all of us into like mini adults whether we like it or not because we're living on our own yeah, like, it's like we it's time to buck up and it's there just weird <laughs> get ready kids because you are on your own and you have to do adult things and it's so scary adulting yeah. like i yeah. use a credit card on my own what is this i have to write yeah. checks um what i don't yeah. know i, I still don't write checks why are you writing checks <laughs> Pay people I'm like that's terrifying. <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. I am just. We are children. It's, we it's are just, so small. It's weird. It's definitely not what people our age are doing. At like all. people at school and like our friends back at home. They're definitely not writing checks to people who work for them, going on tour, using um, their own credit card. Maybe actually they probably are navigating <laughs> cities that they've never seen ever before <laughs> and getting lost like seven times out of ten. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, hey, Google Maps. Yeah. Google Maps, it never tells you which direction to go in. It's just like, it's, it's start on this street. Thought. And I'm like, yeah, so can, do I go this That's way? Do I go that way? I don't know how to work it. Uh, I've gotten this lost so many times. Megan and I have tried to get sushi in like every city and every time. We have to like turn around. There's a I'm, sushi like, place <gasps> that's down there. Thank you, Megan. We will be going there. Nice. Sushi Inc. is what it's called. Just, okay, First Avenue, Sorry. go this way, and it'll be on your right. and It'll be like a few blocks away. Oh, the other day, Alex and I were trying to get Dunkin' donuts and dom was like okay just take a left and then a right and we were like okay and then we turned and then all of a sudden we were in the middle of a street and people were honking at us and this man was yelling at us from his window upstairs and i was like oh my god what do we do so we had to call dom and you could just like see him running down the street like coming to rescue we did make it a block into adulthood and we needed dom's help it was Whoa. like save us <laughs> Yeah, Dominic's our tour manager. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Dom. He said he would like make a cameo in this interview, and he never he just, like, did. Runs and just jumps Dominic, on us. <laughs> we love Dom. Dom. He's Dom. our professional best friend. <laughs> He's our professional babysitter. <laughs> I, I was. I called him that earlier. I'm like, you are the professional babysitter. We're children, and we are lost most of the time. Dom's and a little bit of a child himself too. Yeah. So it's like, okay, yeah. the man freaking like took a shower under a freeway when it was raining. All, yeah, you know, it was like, in dripping. his clothes. He's like, just hold ran. my clothes, and we're like, what are you doing? No, he didn't say hold my clothes. He just said hold my phone, and then he just went. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just ha. <laughs> and he just went in under the rain. It was so weird. And There's his videos. pants are still drying somewhere in here because. Well, he's a big hippie, that's why. He totally yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> the first day of tour, he's like, where can I put this top hat? And I was like, literally, who is this man that is living with us? <laughs> We're like, what? like, are you kidding me? Like, what do you mean, where do I put your top hat? <laughs> what <laughs> top hat? <laughs> oh, my God. So, we'll be sitting in the RV. Like, we can so talk about Dom for, like, seven years, honestly. <laughs> One of the moms is driving, and I'm sitting here. He's doing something on the computer, and the other girls are sleeping. He stands up, walks to the fridge, and pulls out a stick of celery and just... Chows down on it. He brought one bag of food when he first came on tour. It was just filled with like celery, um, two peppers, a banana, a lemon, a lemon two hard boiled eggs, and then like um like three weird zucchini things. He didn't even know what they were. He just took a bite out of it and was like, hmm, I think it's a zucchini. And we were like, what do you mean you think it's a zucchini? It was like white in the middle. It's like mm. I think, I think it's a safe to I don't eat. And we're like, what do you mean? And we were like, where did you oh get it? He was like, God. I don't know, I just had it with me. What? <laughs> Yeah, he's, so he's weird. an interesting man. We're very lucky to have we him. Love on him. We so asked him like much. two days before tour. We're like, can you come on the road with us for two months? And he was yeah, like, like yeah. literally two days before we left for two months. He was oh. like, oh yeah, sure. Let me just like sort a couple things out, and then we, I'll, I'll be good. Like, yeah, I mean, we we all love Dom. Thank love you, Dom. Dom. And it's 
Yeah. It's funny, I met Dom through my editor, so my editor's gonna watch this footage and know exactly what we're talking about okay. with Dom. <laughs> you know so many Dom. weird stories Hippie about Dom. Dom. Hippie Dom. True. All right. So, well, next question. So, I mean, obviously, as you can even see in this interview right now, there's a lot of chemistry between the four of you. And then I'll <laughs> no. push them out of the RV. Yeah, I would agree with that statement. We have a pact that's like, like what is murder, our pact? murder pact murder to kill pact Sydney, like, like a suicide <laughs> pact, but it's like to murder Sydney. If we had to kill one member in this band, it would definitely be Sydney. Wow. Hands down. Wow. Why is that? Why is that? She I don't know. Green hair. She has green hair. Duh. Like, oh, duh. Okay, cool. I used to have green hair. You you would have been first then. Oh. Me, you don't. <laughs> well, well, now I'm last because I have brown hair, right? Yeah. 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 You're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Megan would not get killed. I would be oh, no. Killed. Megan is neutral territory. Yay, Megan, I'm don't so ever. Chilling. Yes. She's our child. Megan, don't ever die. <laughs> well, Sydney, what do you have to say about you getting killed first? <laughs> Try me. <laughs> it was a decision we made a long time ago, Sydney. I don't make the rules. It's just how it is. Sydney would take us down, honestly. No, she, she would take us down. No. <laughs> I will get you. <laughs> I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. Nicole and I. Alex and I could tag team it. Like, tag team. Tag team tag it team. up. What's What's okay, up? sorry we interrupted your question. You're, you're just all like, good. You're no, this is hilarious. <laughs> all I can like, say is try me. Alex and I made a list of ways to hide a body when we were in it's Wisconsin. Up there. I helped with it. No, you were not, Sydney. You sat in the background and you listened. No, I helped you, with it. And we planned your murder. I was sitting here. <laughs> Without you knowing, we actually planned your murder. Okay. You helped plan your murder. Oh yeah, my god. So. Woo! I you helped plan plan my your own murder, murder Sydney. Damn, what is that? Anyways, next question. 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 Anyways, Anyways yeah. the real question. Oh, okay. Well, aside from being talented at planning murders, yeah. you're obviously talented at playing your instruments and singing, of course. So, I mean, do you think that was more like years of training? Was that more of like the school of rock that you went to? Or was that more of just you know, being on the road and writing music and you just kind of had to buckle down and be like, oh, okay, I have to do this, like, adult ways now. Personally, I think I got better after, like, I was playing shows, like, every single night. Like, I think I was, like, a mediocre, I don't know. But then, like, once it was, like, I started playing shows every night, it was, like, I could feel, like, my technique got better, like, I was getting faster at playing things. So I think just, like, oh, yeah. re repetition. The, yeah, and, like, the repetition the of, like, the same songs over and over, because it's, like, the structure's always the same, but it's, like, your individual technique has so much room to adjust. But what you, personally, I think my guitar teacher for my art school, because I thought I was a lot better than I was going into that school. And then he's like, you're not very good. Shut up, Alex. And yes, then he's like, are. time to be better. And he made me so much better. So it's like, what's up? Yeah, I, I mean, I took choir in like sixth grade. And my choir teacher, before she left to move across the United States, I don't even know where she is now. She was like, Sydney, you can never, like she was like crying, she was, you can never stop singing. And I'm like, thank what? you. Okay, Aww. Sydney, I was watching videos from when we first started playing and your voice has gotten like, I didn't even realize it was better because I remember when we first started being in a band, I was like, holy frick, this girl is so good at singing. And it's like, I was watching videos and you have gotten better and like, I don't know how it happened, but She's there's definitely been an improvement. Holy frick. I, because I feel bad like saying a bad word. Like I don't know if you have to bleep that out. And then she's going to kill her also. <laughs> but Sydney, I think your yeah. voice has gotten very amazing. Just um, but like you know. yeah, the talent aspect has nothing to do with the murder list. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't murder her based on her talent, just based on her. Hair. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is that School of Rock has definitely helped me yeah. a lot for yeah. sure with just like my lessons and everything. Chad Martin. Ayo, he's my old he's my old drum teacher. Oh, nice. Um, so he's helped me tremendously. Same with Al, Hi, Al. and yeah. Oh so yeah, Al was a good dude. A lot of good training there. Yeah. So my bass teacher Siggy oh. was so good. Thank you, Siggy. Thank you, Siggy. If you ever see this, you were the best. If you ever see this. <laughs> yeah, I took best lessons to from two there. different vocal instructors, and they both like taught me so much. Uh, they taught me lots of different warm up techniques and different like just techniques for singing and I feel like that helped me a lot at the School of Rock, you know. Oh, nice. Yeah. And then also playing with people at the School of Rock helped me with my stage performance and everything. Uh, yeah, because if it weren't for Shane being like, don't stay in this box, I would have just stood there on stage. <laughs> there we go, yeah. And then obviously stage presence is such an important oh, yeah. part. Obviously we were talking about your performance earlier. Yeah.
Alrighty, so now let's talk about your love of music. So oh, I hate music, actually. Oh, yeah. Well, then, well, well, you're the bassist, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Kidding. Uh, Megan's just drinking tea. Okay, I have this thing. I have this thing for every interview where I do different strange things during the interview. Okay, oh so God, one time man. I ate what was it? A bagel. Last time I ate peanut butter. You then I had. Eat candy. I don't have any candy right now. You have any candy? Well, I've just eaten many don't different touch my things. Foot. <laughs> I've eaten many different things during interviews, and this time Onions. I'm drinking a gigantic jug of iced tea. <coughs> True. So that's not true. I'm just fine. Yeah. <gasps> have you guys seen that video? Okay. Clip? What's your question? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> question time. Okay. <laughs> the love of music. <laughs> the love of music. Music is. I don't. I mean, I don't even know. Like. Let's just name music is everything. Okay. Favorite bands? Inspirations or favorite bands? Both. Both. Yeah, okay, Nicole, you first. God, are you kidding me? Okay, Inspirations, Dead Sarah, Led Zeppelin, Bikini Kill, and I just love Bikini Kill's like message, and if I wrote lyrics, I would write them just like Bikini Kill, but I don't. I just like their passion. Bands that I listen to, I really like Fiddler, Frights, Girl Pool, Slow Hollows. Wait, The Hollows? Oh, there's, shoot, there's like two bands. Like, the same name. <laughs> Slow Dive's really cool. Um, my Kill Girl is my favorite all-time ever band. Uh, I think that's maybe it. Okay. I don't know. Um, inspirations for me is, I mean, my inspirations and my favorite bands are kind of the same list. Uh, Avenged Sevenfold, Pierce the Veil. The one would change every time. I'm the drummer, I don't know what she's talking. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I like backwards. I mean, they're partying like we are, right? Yeah. All right.